Oh, there you are. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Yoro Yo-Yo, dictator of Yoromania, Yo-Yo Mania. So, yeah. let me ask you a question to start. Give me one good reason I shouldn't nuke you off the face of the earth for being a dictator. Ah, uh, no, no, Power Nelson, don't, don't nuke me, ha ha, you're so sexy, ha ha ha, no. Oh. No, don't do it, oh. ha ha Oh, ladies, Yoro thinks I'm sexy. Ha ha ha, that's great, that's just fantastic. So, uh -huh. I uh, have seen your uh, streams many a time. You like to surround yourself with big, muscular men. How much yes. do you bench? Uh -huh. Well, I mean, obviously you surround yourself with these men because, you know, you want to get fit, right? How much do you bench? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, that, that sounds good. I bench about uh, parks and pa uh, parks. Yeah, you know park park benches. Yeah, yeah. That, ah, that, you can that bench a like, park yeah. bench. <laughs> That's yes. very funny. I bench like six tons. Six tons of uh, hot Cheetos. Six tons of hot Cheetos straight into the mouth. That's a lot of Cheetos. Yeah, you need to you need to stay energized and you stay uh full in order to be <laughs> dictated. Yo yo mania, obviously to flex on these peasants. Obviously. Do you enjoy the standard Cheetos or the flaming Cheetos? I think cheese is pretty good. Cheese is classic. You can't really go wrong with cheese. Especially the puffy dudes. Hell yeah. You like the puffy dudes? I thought you liked muscular dudes. I like, I like muscular dudes, but you know, who doesn't love a good puffy dude every now and then? Why not? Oh my. Like... <laughs> Mama. Puffy Cheetos are the good dude. Puffy Cheetos are fucking good, dude. Mm. Hell yeah. Have you seen those recipes that allow you to coat your fr uh target for frying in Cheetos and then you fry them. Yes. Have you done I, I that? I tried it. Yes. I tried it with the contents of my chalice. It was uh your quite chalice. exhilarating. Yeah. You deep fried yeah. your chalice. Well the contents of my chalice. You know? What was in your chalice? Oh, the audience is being lewd. The audience is being lewd and gross. Are they wrong, though? Are they wrong? T tell me that, Nelson. Are I they hope they're wrong, because that would make them perverts if they weren't. Ha ha. Ha ha, they, they are totally wrong, yes, ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha. It is only milk, guys. It is totally, it is only milk. Milk I makes swear. for healthy bones. Yeah, have you even tried deep fried milk? That That's good. That, that's a good way to consume milk, actually. Yoro, how do you make uh, deep-fried milk? How is this uh, possible? You so you freeze the milk, and then you you coat it in, like, panko breadcrumbs, and then you just deep-fry it. You just eat it in oil. You just throw it in the oil. I don't and, believe and you. And you put stick on it. I don't no, believe you. True. This is This true. is some evil dictator trick, trying to get me no, to throw milk no. in a deep-fryer. Condensed, I can't tell if it's condensed milk or just regular milk, but it's milk and you and you can like freeze it or, and, and you can make it all jiggly and jello like and then you like cut those into squares and then you coat them in flour and stuff. That's mad gross. In the future, there is no milk. We go straight to cheese. Why? Why would you do that? Why Don't not? Like Why wouldn't you do that? I've never known the feeling of milk running down my throat, ah! you pervert. Ah! <laughs> yeah, what about cereal? Do you eat cheese cereal, huh? Do you eat cheese I cereal? eat my cereal like every American does, with beer. What? 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 Man, the, uh, the, and people say, 
Yeah, Yo Yo Mania is, is a dystopia. We eat it with well, we eat it with vodka, but you know, like it, it, they they say Yo Yo Mania is dystopia. Just look at the future. All they have is cheese and beer. It's that sounds like a pretty good that. future to me. Does the crowd well, agree? Yeah, yeah. Does a future of yeah. beer and cheese sound amazing to you? No. You better say no. Would you rather <laughs> have cheese and beer? Or would you rather have vodka and depression? I would much rather have cheese and beer. Who would have well, vodka, vodka and depression? I do. I want uh. vodka and depression. Who wants it on cheese and beer? <laughs> Yes, nah. vodka and depression sounds like the uh, average snack for a yo-yo manian. <laughs> well, well, actually, they just eat coal, but you know. They I eat mean, coal. Have you heard yeah. of blue coal? Oh, uh, is that is that drug? No, they're the sponsors of this show. Blue coal. Oh, really? Better heat wow. with less attention. Wow. Blue coal, truly it's... America's finest anthracite. Is it edible? Um, well, it's coal sprayed with a blue lead paint. So, do you think that's edible? Well, cool. yeah, I think that's actually quite, that sounds quite nutritious, actually, because that means that you'll be able to write better, because pencils have lead in them. So, you can write better because you're eating the... The pencil helps you think better, I'm assuming, right? You're making a lot of sense, you tiny dictator. Yeah, you're getting right. All I ate as a kid growing up was coal. We have coal soda here. Coal soda? Yeah. Describe it to me. For that sounds delicious, especially if it's blue. It's, uh, well, it's quite smoky. I know, you know that thing, is, I think Americans, they put it on, like, barbecue. They call it liquid smoke or something like that, yeah? It's like mm. that, but a soda. It's like that, it's but a, a soda. I can yeah, just like imagine it. it. It's quite good, actually. People think, people think, ah, you know, it's called cola. Oh, it, oh, it's oh, cola. You made a funny. Yoro. Uh, <laughs> How enchanting. Uh, How enchanting. Yeah, it, it's good cola, but you think they're, ah, oh, gross, this is just charcoal it is gonna taste bad but actually it tastes good it, it's healthy the yo-yo minion board of health people said it's okay so obvi obviously they're not lying aren't you an evil dictator don't you tell them what to say uh, yeah well sometimes i'm too lazy i'm too busy playing video games to do my job so ah, obviously that brings up a very interesting question you're a dictator of a country. How do you have time to play video games? Well, I actually do get very busy on my off time. You, streaming is like a hobby for me, you see? But usually, you know, uh, Yo Yo Mania is one of those dictatorships where I got a lot of, like, people that do stuff for me for free. So, mostly all I do is sign paperwork. That sounds immensely boring. Speaking it of is. your country, just in case a certain superhero were to come in and liberate your evil dictatorship, how large are your armies? Just asking. Uh -huh. Curious. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, just thinking out loud. We have, yeah. we have uh, a lot. Like, uh, a lot. And our boats have big boobs. Why mm. the big booby boats. That's the future. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh yeah. But, uh, liberation, you said, uh, you want to, you want, you want to elaborate on that? Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm just, I'm just asking, uh -huh. you know, questions. As a good uh -huh. interviewer and talk show host, I must ask uh -huh. the guests the hard questions, so to say. So, uh, okay. how many are there? Uh, you can. Tell me. A lot. Tell me. A lot. Give me numbers. A lot. Give me the numbers the now, Yoro. Yoro, if you do not you give me it? the number of your forces in 10 seconds, I will fire my thermonuclear warhead straight at your Romania. 10. A million. Nine. Eight. Civilian. 
seven, six, five, four. You have seven. Seven what? Thermonuclear warhead. Go! <laughs> well, that was a great interview, wasn't it, cadets? Mmm. Poor Yoro. We knew her well. Evil dictator. Cheeto eater. And... Quite possibly, one of the cruelest dictators of our time. Please, F's in chat for Yoro Yoyo. Oh, it appears Yoro lived. Hmm. Might have to figure out why the nuclear devices aren't killing anyone. Hmm. Anyway. We will be back in five minutes with more music, more fun, and our next special guest. Please be there.